Welcome to Note Hall. Thanks, Steve. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sean Conway. This is Justin Miller. We have DJ Stefan and Fetty Kalfoon uh, somewhere in the back. But how many of you took uh, poor to average lecture notes during high school or college? A show of hands? Great. And how many of you took great notes? Yeah. There's, there must be 20, 30 of you. All right. Great. So we saw that opportunity in the college market. We created a website where you can buy and sell class notes and study guides in each of your college courses. We launched at the University of Arizona, KU, ASU, and um, now we've really streamlined our operations and leveraged our resources so we can launch at 24 more universities this coming fall. Justin, we'll take it away from here. Thank you. You guys hear me okay? All right. Perfect. So this is a, uh, a screenshot of the uh, site here, if I go back. All right. Basically, I wanted to show you a little bit about what we've been doing. And first, to kind of frame this entire discussion, I want to show you how it works. So let's say that you are in a class, an intro to accounting class, and you have an upcoming exam on Monday, and you have created the best study guide. You've compiled lecture notes, reading notes, even textbook questions to put all the information you need in one document, but you want to make some money. So simply you would upload it to Note Hall, and then you would notify your classmates. Now your classmates would be looking for a document just like yours because it has all the information that they need, or maybe they even missed a class. So what they do is they go on to Note Hall they purchase credits using their credit card or by PayPal. And credits are the students' buying power. And they use these credits to view other students' documents. Now, on the seller side, we go ahead and split that commission with you 60-40. And when you decide to cash out, we go ahead and send you a check for your earnings. So now that you understand a little bit about how it works, we can go ahead and show you some of the statistics in where we've actually been. So in October of 2008, we launched at the University of Arizona and almost immediately started to gain traction there. By the end of that semester, in December of 2008, we were able to accumulate $11,000 in revenue and sign up 7,000 active users. And at that point in time, we sat around the boardroom table and we thought to ourselves, how can we make this a more replicatable process to expand to every college, university across the country? So in March of 2009, we launched two pilot programs, one at Kansas University and one at Arizona State University. And by the end of this semester, we were able to accumulate just under $30,000 in revenue and 13,500 active registered users. So this is the point where we came into Dream It, and we were armed with tons of data, but really stuck with our heads down just going through the business. And with all of this data, we formatted and expanded on our proven strategy for expansion. So I'm glad to say that we are going to be launching at 23 universities this fall. And if all goes to plan, we'll go ahead and do an, a mid-semester launch to an additional 50 to 70 universities. And some of them look a little bit like these. So now that you understand a little bit about where we've been and where we're going, we can talk a little bit about the competition. So yes, there are other players in the space. However, we've identified two main differentiators how we are better than the competition. One is our business model. We provide content creators the highest compensation, which guarantees the highest quality documents, and almost inherently guarantees repeat customers uh, throughout their four years at the university. The second differentiator that we've identified is our go-to-market strategy, how we get a school up and running within seven days and start generating revenue within four weeks. So if we want to go ahead and take a look at the two pilot programs at the very top, uh, Arizona State University and Kansas University, just within six weeks, we were able to accumulate 1,500 active registered users on those two campuses without stepping foot on them. 
And if we look at the two closest competitors who publicly post their information, we are in that exact same ballpark, which took them one year and 10 months to do. So I want to go into a couple screenshots of what the website looks like. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to find me afterwards. This is the user's homepage. So once you register using your university email address, you log in. You see the courses that you're enrolled in on the left and the documents for those courses on the right. Now if we take a look at a document profile, you can see that there are three main areas that a potential buyer can qualify a document before they buy. So one is the description. They, uh, the seller, like eBay, posts a description about the document, the number of pages, and even about the professor which that document pertains. The second is the preview. We use a Scribd API, uh, which is a top 200 web company, that we automatically generate previews about 20 to 30 percent of the document uh, so that the potential buyer gets a great idea of what the format and quality of that document looks like. Additionally, for each document, we have reviews. Now, these reviews are posted by past purchasers. They leave a grade and a comment. So if we want to focus in and hone in on some of these reviews, we can get an, a sense of what our customers are actually saying about the documents on the website. So just for example, good study guide, very clear. Good examples and explanation, absolutely amazing. And these are just some of the few comments that we hear on a daily basis and really proved us the value proposition that we offer to these students. Uh, also, really quickly, I wanted to run through some of the uh, news, some of the press that we've been able to, uh, to get covering our story, and we anticipate much more in the future. Finally, now that we've uh, kind of discussed everything about how the product works, where we've been, where we're going, and even some of the big players in the space, we can really show you the team that's going to take it there. So uh, we met Sean Conway earlier, uh, co-founder uh, and CEO, myself, co-founder, VP product development. Uh, we have DJ Stefan is our chief marketing officer, and Fetty Shalfoon, who is our CTO. In addition, we've been able to gather a stellar academic advisory board that includes Len Lodish, uh, Vice Dean at Wharton, Matt Van Horn, VP of Business Development at Dig.com, Dr. Louis Padulo, President Emeritus at University Science Center, and Mark Slovak, uh, CTO at LexisNexis. And so with that, I'm going to uh, pass off to Sean to talk a little bit about some of the financing. All right. So to date, um, Justin and I have contributed $66,000 to get Note Hall to where it is today. Dream had provided another $25,000, which uh, really helped us uh, the summer. Now we're looking to take uh, take it to the next level, and we need $115,000 to do this. We've already raised 15. Um, this is at a $1 million pre-money, and uh, after five years, if all projections are correct, this will be $8.8 .8 million in return. But we created Note Hall with the end in mind. So some possible acquirers include Blackboard. They just uh, acquired Angel Learning for was it $95 million a couple months ago. Also, text, textbook publishing companies such as McGraw-Hill uh, are always looking to get in the college demographic and the virtual space, as well as uh, MTVU purchased uh, Rate My Professor a few years back for $25 million. But um, yeah, th thank you so much, the guys of uh, Dream It. You, we couldn't have done, we couldn't have been at the position we are with all the, all the amenities you guys have given us.